Welcome to the lesson on properties of metals and non-metals. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to describe the physical properties of metals and non-metals, explain the reaction of metals in presence of air, explain the reaction of metals with water and acids, explain displacement reactions. All elements are classified as metals and non-metals. The physical properties of metals are different from non-metals. Metals in their pure state have a shining surface. This property is called metallic luster. Normally, metals are present in solid state, but metal mercury is found in liquid state. Metals are generally hard, except metals like lithium, sodium and potassium, which are so soft that they can be cut with a knife. Metals are malleable. They can be beaten into thin sheets. Metals are sonorous. They make sound when striking hard. Metals like copper and gold can be drawn into thin wires. This ability of metals is called ductility. Metals are good conductors of heat and have high melting point. Exceptions are gallium and caesium, which have very low melting points. The best conductors of heat are silver and copper. Lead and mercury are comparatively poor conductors of heat. Metals are good conductors of electricity. Generally, non-metals show properties which are opposite to metals. However, iodine, though a non-metal, is lustrous. Most of the non-metals are non-lustrous. Carbon is a non-metal that exists in different forms. Each form is called an allotrope. Diamond, an allotrope of carbon, is the hardest natural substance known and has a very high melting and boiling point. Graphitite, another allotrope of carbon, is a conductor of electricity. Alkali, metals like lithium, sodium and potassium are so soft that they can be cut with a knife. Different metals show different reactivities towards oxygen. Metals like potassium and sodium are highly reactive. Hence, they are kept in kerosene oil to prevent them from catching fire. Magnesium burns in air with a dazzling white flame. Metals combine with oxygen to form metal oxides. Copper reacts with oxygen to give copper oxide, which is a black oxide. Similarly, aluminium forms aluminium oxide. Usually, metal oxides are basic in nature, but some metal oxides such as aluminium oxide and zinc oxide show both acidic as well as basic behavior. Such metal oxides which react with both acids as well as bases to produce salts and water are known as amphoteric oxides. This is how aluminium oxide reacts with acids and bases. Most metal oxides are insoluble in water, but some of these dissolve in water to form alkalis. Sodium oxide and potassium oxide dissolve in water to produce alkalis. Some metals react with water to give metal oxides. Some of them react with cold water, some with hot water, and some with steam. Some metals do not react with water at all. Metal oxides that are soluble in water dissolve in it to further form metal hydroxide. Metals like potassium and sodium react violently with cold water. Large amount of heat is produced and evolved hydrogen gas catches fire. Calcium does not react violently with water. Heat evolved is not sufficient for hydrogen gas to catch fire. 
magnesium reacts with hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Metals like aluminium, iron and zinc only react with steam to form metal oxide and hydrogen gas. However, lead, copper, silver and gold do not react with water at all. Metals react with dilute acid to give salt and hydrogen. Hydrogen gas is released when metals react with dilute hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen gas is not evolved when a metal reacts with nitric acid. It is because HNO3 is a strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the hydrogen produced to water and itself getting reduced to any of the nitrogen oxides. However, magnesium and manganese react with nitric acid to evolve hydrogen gas. The reactivity of metal with acid decreases in order as shown. Metals react with solutions of other metal salts. Reactive metals can displace less reactive metals from their compounds in solution or molten form. Such reactions are called displacement reactions. If metal A displaces metal B from its solution, it is more reactive than B. If we take a solution of copper sulphate and put a strip of zinc metal in this solution, the blue color of copper sulphate solution fades away gradually and copper metal is deposited on the zinc strip. This means that zinc is more reactive than copper. If we put gold or platinum in a copper sulphate solution, then copper is not displaced because both gold and platinum are less reactive than copper and do not give electrons to reduce copper ions into copper metal. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904